hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can sell your cryptocurrency on telegram wallet p2p trading platform you're going to be learning how to sell any kind of cryptocurrencies be it usdt bitcoin ethereum hamster combat dog stone whichever cryptocurrency at all you're going to learn how you can sell it using the telegram wallet p2p trading platform so that you can be able to get or withdraw your money into your bank account the telegram wallet p2p trading will enable you to sell your cryptocurrency or token and then receive the equivalent in your local currency directly into your bank account so i'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the p2p trading feature on your telegram wallet and it's actually easy to do just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our youtube channel do it to like subscribe and leave a comment as that would tremendously help grow our youtube channel so guys let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to open your telegram app so guys you can see right here here is my telegram app so the next step now is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys now what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see wallet you can see there that's the second option the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see p2p market you can see it right there on the right hand side so let me go ahead now to tap on it so guys now the next step you have to take next to tap on where you can see sell we can see there on the right hand side so let me tap on it so guys now this is where you're going to be able to sell your cryptocurrency so guys now you can see right here these are the list of merchants that you can actually sell your cryptocurrency to you can see they are also called buyers or merchants or advertisers so you can actually sell to these persons that you can see i can see there are so many of them but guys there is something important that you need to know you can actually do business or you can actually transact with all of these buyers right here you can actually do business with all of these buyers or merchants right here let me say for instance you want to sell a cryptocurrency that is worth um let me say that is worth seven thousand or let me say you want to sell your usdt that is worth seven thousand that means you have to look for buyers that are ready to buy or do business within that range of seven thousand let's use this first buyer as an example you can see where the arrow is pointing you can see the limits of this buyer it is from 150,000 to about 6 million naira. so if you have any business that is less than 150,000 you can be able to do business or transact with this buyer right here so you must have USDT or cryptocurrency that is worth 150,000 and above before you can do business with that person so guys, that's what it means so guys I'm going to be showing you guys how you can be able to get eligible and verified buyers from this platform so guys I will show you guys how you can do that so guys you can see those features there at the top that in cycled area you can see me moving it those features are what you can use to filter this buyers so that you can be able to get eligible and verified buyers so guys let me start with the first feature right there where it is written method you can see the arrow is pointing at it that's where you can choose the method that you want to use to receive your money into your bank account so guys now you can see there are different methods you can actually see let me scroll you can see there are different type of method that you can actually receive your money into your bank account but let's go for the first one which is bank transfer it covers all kind of transfer any kind of commercial bank at all so guys now let's go back to the second feature you can see what's written there verification let me go ahead now to tap on it that's where you're going to be able to select trusted and verified buyers or merchants so guys you can see we have three options here the first one is trusted merchant the second one is national id card verified while the last one there is all so guys the one that we we'll have to go for is for trusted merchant you can see under the trusted merchant that's where you can find the people that are actually verified and those that are actually doing legit business right here on this platform let me get to read what is written under the trusted merchant trusted merchant is a user that has has proven his credibility and provided national id card so guys let me go ahead now to select it you have to select trusted merchant let me tap on it so guys now you can see trusted has been selected let's go back to the next one which is currency let me tap on it you have to choose the local currency of your country so i'm going to be choosing nigerian naira because i'm from nigeria so let me tap on it now to select it you can see it's already selected so you have to choose the local currency so guys now you can see nigerian naira has been selected the next step now is to choose the cryptocurrency that you want to sell so let me tap on where it is written crypto let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see the list of cryptocurrencies that we have here we have usdt ton btc nuts dogs and hamster combat so guys the one i'm going to be going for is usdt because i have usdt in my wallet so let me tap on usdt to select it so guys now let's go back to the last feature you can see there it is written amount you have to search for buyers that can do business with you according to the amount of cryptocurrency that you want to sell let's say you want to sell um seven thousand watts of usdt you have to search for buyers that can do business with you at that range so guys what i'll do now is to tap on where it is written amounts then let me go ahead now to tap seven thousand i want to do business that is worth seven thousand i want to sell cryptocurrency usdt that is worth seven thousand so guys now you can see i'm typing it so once i tap it now it's going to rearrange so guys now you can see these are 
are um these are buyers that can actually do business within the range of seven thousand you can see the first person you can see this one right here it is from five thousand to six million so i can actually do business with this buyer right here you can see the buyer the next buyer you can see it here from three thousand to about 13 million so i can actually do business with these buyers right here remember the buyers that we saw earlier on was from 150,000 to about 6 million but this one now we have buyers that can do business within 3,000 4,000 5,000 to 7,000 worth of usdt so guys let me go ahead now to select one of these buyers so guys if you take a close look at these buyers right here you can see that they are all verified they can see the blue tick right there they are all verified and i can also see the amount they are actually selling their usdt for one usdt you're going to be getting 1500 you can see it right there you can see the amount the arrow is pointing at it the difference in amount is not much at all so guys now after you're done checking all of this after you're done filtering all of these buyers to get the best buyer that will suit the kind of business that you want to do using those features there at the top what you have to do next now is to choose the buyer that you want to do business with so guys let me go ahead now to select this first one let me tap on where it is written sell So guys, now this way you're going to be able to sell your cryptocurrency depending on the one that you chose. But I'm going to be selling my USDT in this video today because I actually selected USDT as my choice of cryptocurrency. So guys, now what I have to do now is to impute the amount of USDT I want to sell. But before I do that, you can see my available balance. You can see that I have 4.3 USDT in my account. And also you can see the limit that I can actually impute right here. You can see the buyer said I can actually sell from 3.3 USDT to about 3 million USDT. So if I impute anything less than 3.3 USDT, I cannot be able to do business with this person. And if I impute anything that is above my balance, I cannot be able to do business. So guys, now you can see I put it 5. You can see they said insufficient fund. So as now you can see I imputed 4, I can actually sell 4 USDT. So you can see I imputed 3, I can't sell 3 USDT because the limit of this buyer is from 3.3 and above. So guys, what I'll do now is to impute the amount of USDT that is within my available balance. So guys, what I'll do now is to tap on where it is written sell all. I want to sell the total amount of USDT in my Telegram wallet. So let me tap on sell all. So guys, now you can see the total amount of USDT that I have in my Telegram wallet is now appearing there. So guys, what I have to do next now is actually to choose my payment method. So guys, now you can see where it is written payment method so guys i've added my payment method already i've actually linked my bank account to my telegram wallet but in case you've not actually done that in case you don't know how to do that you don't have to bother yourself because i've actually made a dedicated video on that topic what you have to do is just go over to the description of this video i'm going to be dropping the link to the video that will teach you how you can actually add your payment method or link your bank account to your telegram wallet i've made a video on that just tap on it you'll be able to watch and learn it so guys after you've imputed your amount and you've selected your payment method what you have to do next we tap on continue down there so let me tap on it already so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there creating order buyer must confirm the order within 10 minutes after its creation so guys can see the details of this order right here you can see down there let me scroll down you can see the details you can see the amount of usdt that i'm actually selling you can see the amount i'm going to be receiving into my bank account you can see the price for one usdt so guys now for you to actually create this order what you have to do next is tap on create order down there you can see there let me tap on it already so guys, now you can see the next step. All you have to do now is to tap on where it is written, confirm order. Let me get to read what is written there. You are about to place an order. Placing order without completing them may impact your rating and ability to use P2P market. So guys, you have to make sure you actually complete this order. So let me tap on confirm order right away. So guys, now you can see the order has been created. So guys, now what I have to do now is actually to wait for this buyer to actually send my money into my bank account. So guys, you can see what's written there at the top, waiting for buyer confirmation. Expect to receive the order confirmation from the buyer. So guys, you can see right there, you can see what's written there, waiting for the buyer within. You can see the countdown time right there, 9 minutes 51. You can see it's reading. So guys, what I have to do now is to wait patiently. So guys, now you can see what's written here. They say the waiting for the payment. Buyer must send 6,544 Naira within one hour. So guys, what they have to do is to wait patiently for the buyer to actually send the money into your account. Once the buyer sends the money into your account, they can come back here to confirm it. So guys, what I will do now is to wait patiently for this buyer to respond and confirm my order. So let me wait for a few minutes. Wow, guys, you can see the buyer has actually confirmed my order. You can see what's written there buyer confirmed the payment that green good shows that the buyer has actually transferred my money into my bank account you can see what's written there as well they said 
please check if you have received the payment so that's what i have to do now is to go and check if i've actually received my money in my bank account you must first of all confirm that you've actually received your money in your bank account before you can release your usdt so guys make sure you see the money in your bank account before you go ahead to release the usdt without seeing the money in your bank account don't release the usdt to the person don't release the usdt to the buyer so guys what i will do now is to go and check if i have received the money in my bank account before i tap on where it is written confirm payment you can see down there once i confirm that the money has entered my bank account then i can come and tap on where it is written confirm payment so guys now let me go ahead and check it let me just scroll from the bottom of my phone from the top of my phone rather let me scroll from the top to see if the credit alert has dropped so guys now you can see there the credit alert has dropped you can see the arrow pointing at it you can see the amount right there that's the exact amount that i actually sold the usdt for you can see it there so guys what i have to do now is to go back let me scroll up let me go and tap on where it is written confirm payment so that i can release the usdt to the buyer immediately so let me go ahead now to tap on where it is written confirm payment you can see down there so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there do you confirm that you have received 6500 naira and want to send 4.3 usdt to the buyer so let me tap on confirm right away so guys let me go ahead now to impute my wallet passcode this is to confirm that i'm actually the owner of this telegram wallet so guys now you can see wow you can see what's written there payments confirm 4.3 usdt will be withdrawn from your wallet soon so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait for a few seconds 4.3 usdt will be withdrawn from our account and sent to the buyer immediately let's just wait for a few seconds wow guys can see you have sold 4.3 usdt all that successfully completed so guys now you can see the buyer has received it and have also received the money into my bank account so guys now this is how you can actually do p2p or your telegram wallet so guys now i've been able not to show you guys how you can be able to sell any kind of crypto at all on the telegram wallet p2p trading market so guys i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did do well to like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel do well to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that whenever i release a new video like this one you're gonna get notified see you in the next upload Bye-bye. Peace.